Hey everybody, welcome back to a max velocity weather forecast and today what we're going over is that severe weather outbreak potential across the northern plains later this afternoon into the evening hours and as well as the severe weather potential across the southeast and as well as even into Texas. I'm going to give you the latest threats, the intensity of the storms, the timing for you and everything that you need to know will be in this forecast. Let's hop right into it. So as of right now, there is an enhanced risk of severe weather that doesn't now include Montana and as well as western North Dakota. There's also a slight risk of severe weather that goes all the way back out into western portions of Minnesota and as well as into almost all of North Dakota. And there's also a marginal threat that extends into portions of South Dakota. The main threats this afternoon will be significant damaging winds. I'm talking potential for 70 to 85 mile per hour damaging winds out of a couple of these supercells that we see, see later this afternoon. Now, just keep in mind that this could be life-threatening damage to properties. Make sure you're staying away from windows if you're ever under any of these severe thunderstorm warnings later this afternoon because, again, damaging winds could exceed as much as 80 miles per hour large hail today there's definitely gonna be a chance for hail up to the size of baseballs and that would be again for this location here anywhere in this hatched area representing a 10 percent probability in a 25 mile radius of seeing some very large hailstones otherwise the mo main threat outside of that hatched area will be hail up to the size of golf balls taking a look at that tornado threat as well it's not out of the question that we could see maybe a couple of tornadoes throughout the evening hours into the overnight hours as well as that area of storms heads off towards minnesota take a look at that timing for later this afternoon across montana Montana. five to six o'clock we'll start to see some showers and storms starting to develop again the main threats with these will be damaging winds and maybe some large hail by seven to eight o'clock we'll start to see more pronounced storms starting to move off to the east towards miles city you can start to see a bit more of a line trying to develop over in central portions of montana by nine to ten o'clock much more defined storms near areas like miles city and another area of storms may develop behind that as well by 11 to 12 o'clock possibly near billings that could also go into miles city again possibly posing all modes of severe weather again Eventually by 2 to 3 in the morning, storms start to move off into North Dakota. Here's a look at the timing for North Dakota tonight. 2 to 3 o'clock, the first area of storms moving through areas like Dickinson as well as Bismarck. Eventually going closer to 4 to 5, storms moving through Dickinson as again as well as possibly through Bismarck again. Eventually by 7 8 in the morning, Jamestown and went eventually towards West Fargo starting to see some showers and storms. Again, all modes of severe weather will be possible with those storms. The main threat though will be damaging winds. Eventually Minnesota will start to see some showers and storms going into the morning hours tomorrow by 8 to 9 o'clock in the morning. Some showers and storms will roll through those locations like St. Cloud, potentially Minneapolis as well. Main threats with any storms that roll through this area will be damaging winds during the early morning, eventually transitioning that potential for severe weather outbreak going into tomorrow afternoon. Again, more on that later in this forecast. Let's hop over to the severe weather potential in the southeast later this afternoon. There is a slight risk for severe weather across Mississippi as well as Alabama. There's also a marginal risk of severe weather that does overlap in areas like uh, northern Florida, all the way across the Carolinas, Georgia, it goes all the way again into Texas later this afternoon. Main threats, though, overall will be damaging winds and maybe some isolated large hail this afternoon. Let's take a look at that timing. You can see it's 4 to 5 o'clock. Some showers and storms will start to develop even in North Texas. Eventually, 7 to 8 o'clock, those storms will move down to the south. Again, if any storms do develop, they may pose that threat for some damaging winds. Overall, though, the severity of those storms will remain fairly limited in North Texas. By 3 to 4 o'clock, we'll start to see a cluster of storms develop over in Mississippi, eventually going towards areas like Birmingham and Tuscaloosa lusa going to the six to seven o'clock hour eventually by eight to nine o'clock we have a very pronounced line of storms moving down to the south again scattered damaging winds will be possible going to the overnight hours we'll start to see these storms weakening after midnight but they could still be posing some damaging winds as they head towards areas like west gulfport as well as mobile alabama all right let's head over to the severe weather potential over in the georgia and carolina area by 12 to 1 o'clock more shower and storm activity again developing over in georgia going to the evening hours we'll start to see that one line of storms moving off to the east we'll also have that potential for that area another area of lines of storms there off to the west near columbus moving down to the south that also could pose that threat for some damaging winds going to the overnight hours will start to dry out in those locations on well, top of that severe weather potential for tomorrow there is a slight risk for severe weather across the dakotas and as well as minnesota and extreme northwestern wisconsin it also does include now southeastern montana and far northeastern wyoming there's also a marginal risk that extends down into almost all of nebraska but the main threats tomorrow will be damaging wind gusts upwards of 70 miles per hour large hail also may be possible and i cannot rule out a few tornadoes and again that main area for maybe a few tornadoes tomorrow will be in this brown shaded region that does go 
through a good portion of Minnesota, just off to the west of Minneapolis. But Minneapolis is in that little 2% shaded region for a very low end tornado threat. Again, if any tornadoes do develop, they will likely be some sort of weak or brief occurrence, but we definitely cannot rule out maybe one strong tornado tomorrow. By four to five o'clock, some showers and storms will develop. Again, this will be our second round of storms across Minnesota. Again, we'll see that first round during the morning hours. These could pose a threat again for maybe an isolated tornado or two during the uh, four to seven o'clock hour range. Eventually by seven, eight o'clock, storms moving down to the south and east towards areas like Minneapolis. Eventually by nine to 10 o'clock, storms are all moving off to the east into areas like Wisconsin, which the overall severity of those storms there will be very, very minimal. So when's the best chance for any tornado threat tomorrow will likely be between four to eight o'clock tomorrow during the evening or late afternoon excuse me into the evening hours here's a look at the low level jet real quick i kind of mentioned this already the low level jet will strengthen tomorrow afternoon you can see that the values are going to be as high as 40 to 45 it's not a strong low level jet it's kind of in the like the low to moderate end almost so it's not going to be the strongest we've ever seen but it's definitely going to be strong enough to potentially produce a few tornadoes tomorrow afternoon so just kind of keep that in mind all right real quick just to mention this we do have another chance for severe weather heading into monday there is a marginal threat for severe weather at this given time it does include colorado the northern texas panhandle as well as portions of oklahoma almost all of kansas is included in this as well as uh, missouri going to illinois and eventually goes back off to the northeast to areas like indiana extreme southwestern michigan is also included main threats seem to be at this current time damaging winds and maybe some isolated large hail again we'll have the latest on this situation as we get closer uh, again make sure to hit the like button down below make sure to subscribe as well if you're not already we are only 20 subscribers away from 9,000. 500. Forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting and All Dense Repair.